Hi there, welcome to the channel, I'm Atova and welcome to another video in the tutorial series. This one is called Advanced Tips and I've got 10 tips for you here. These were quite difficult to put together and I struggle on the last tip, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. So my first tip would be to sync up your attacks. So it looks a little bit messy, but if you can assign some, um, some waypoints to more of your units at the same time, give them a go code and then you can all get them to attack at once. That's pretty useful because then while that's happening, the enemy has um, has a lot of targets to fire at. Whereas if you just sent one in there, they're all going to fire at that same unit, and the survivability of that unit is a little bit compromised, as it probably might not come back because there's that many things firing at it. So try to sync up your attacks, use a go code, and just kind of overwhelm the enemy a little bit. It's useful on Shield One and Two Islands. If you're going to start doing it on on Shield Three Islands. Make sure that you're accounting for AA on there as well, because if any units have AA, they can rip through them pretty fast. So it might be a good idea to get rid of AA first. So for my next tip, it would be to assign enemies to waypoints. So on the vehicle control screen, you can assign waypoints, and then from there, you can drag off that enemies to attack. So if I set a waypoint here, I'll drag it there, and then I can assign an enemy to attack at that waypoint. And then what you can do is you can assign more enemies to attack from that waypoint. The only problem is it doesn't necessarily kill that unit. It will just do one attack run, come back and do the next one. So you have to keep an eye on it a little bit. I'd assign multiple um, enemies to different vehicles you've got going on. So I'm assigning quite a few targets here. But then they'll just keep going and attacking, not just sitting there doing nothing. Make sure your waypoint is a little bit far away as well. Because if, you know... You put the waypoint over an enemy, you just a sitting duck if you forget to give an order. Okay, so start assigning enemies to waypoints, and then watch the carnage unfold. So my next tip would be to squad up your, your vehicles, your units. Now what you can do is when you get a unit going, um, if you want other units to follow that unit, you can just drag the waypoints onto that unit, and then we'll all follow the orders of that first one. So this is nice and useful for seals and stuff like that. It's good for albatrosses. If they're in a holding pattern, you want another one to join it, but you don't want to make a mess and draw, draw another set of waypoints. So what you can do is you can just draw your waypoints out for one unit, and then when the other unit's launched, just drag over, to the, drag over the unit, let go, and it will just follow that unit you've assigned it to. Good for escorts, good for attacking in groups. My next tip would be to start airdropping your torpedoes, especially if you don't want your carrier to be put at risk and you might see an island with a lot of enemies. Um, you know, if you bring your carrier too close when you attack one, you might get detected and then all of a sudden you've got loads of ships after you. So what I've started to do is just using razor bills to scout ahead, line up with a target, fire manually, and then bring the razor bill back. Really good for taking ships out whilst kind of staying undetected. And, you know, it's a fun thing to do as well. And that's what this game's all about, isn't it? So, yeah, airdrop torpedoes. Now, this is something you should immediately start doing once you unlock petrols, but you should start airlifting your units. Not only is it a good time saver, so you don't have to wait for your seal to take your virus bots to the command center. You can just airlift them there and airlift them back. But you can also deploy heavy units if you want to another side of the island. You could drop off somewhere. I mean, technically, you could drop petrols you could take petrols with a unit quite far away while you're still in the scouting phase if you're feeling confident with one of your units. But definitely start using these as soon as you get them. And they're so much fun to use and even just to watch. But it can be a massive time saver for you. So yeah, airlifting. My next tip would be to start using advanced scouting techniques. So when you finish one island, if you've got a long journey to the next, equip an albatross with some external fuel tanks and start setting your waypoints towards it. Now I would recommend it going pretty high. I think the limit in the game in the minute is 2,000, but if you get the UI Enhancer mod, you can pretty much go to 20,000 um, 20, meters. So yeah, start doing advanced scouting and that's the way it saves you a little bit of time. When you get to the island, you don't have to do it all. You know, you've got some time to kill, especially as a solo player. You've got some time to kill as you're traveling to an island. So make use of it. Start sending these scouting parties ahead. I think if you go high enough as well, sometimes they may not detect you. Like I've got one here where the airbase air hasn't seen me yet. And I'm only at 3,500 3, meters. So it's really useful. Okay, this next thing I've found is when you start going to islands of two, three shields, four shields, you start to realize that walruses are the ones that carry AA. 
I've not. I don't think I've seen seals with AA. Maybe one or two, but mainly the walruses. So what I do is I definitely double scan walruses. So you tag once with the diamond. Once you scan again, you find out what vehicle it is, and then the third scan that'll actually give you what weapon it's got. And if it's got something like an AA gun, it'll say AA there. Otherwise, it's just going to say gun. So whenever I find a walrus, I'm always trying to double scan it just to see what it's got. Okay, next tip, hit the airbase. Now, if you can, try to do it before they've took anything off and try to get a TV missile in that airbase because your guided missiles won't be able to penetrate unless you're on a decent angle. If you look at my angle now, it's pretty poor, so I'm trying to fire at both sides of this airbase. But I did have success with a TV missile, um, which I launched from like 4,000 meters away or 3,000 meters away. I can't remember the range at off the top of my head. But try and get a missile in there. If you get it early enough, you can pretty much take out all four units if there's four units in there. If not, just try to get a couple in there anyway. Even if one's taken off, maybe try and aim for the one on the runway and send another one at the same time to the airbase. Really good to take it out and it pretty much knocks off their air, su air support from minute one. This next tip is a bit of a strange one. It's not really something you can act upon you know, in a moment. It's something to think about as you're playing the game. Early on in my Let's Play, I restarted. And then again, later on, I was thinking about restarting because I didn't have what I wanted. But then I realised that's probably the game. Now, it's not the game that everyone wanted. I do think there should be different game modes in there. This isn't a review, by the way. But work with what you have. It's actually quite fun to just work with what you have and what do you need. Now, I see people complaining about, oh, well, I've not got this, so I can't do that. I've not got torpedoes, so I can't attack this. Well... I didn't have torpedoes, or not many of them. I didn't have a lot of things, so I retreated to the edges of the map, and I've started going after one shield islands again. I've gone quite far away. I'm not too worried about what the enemy carry is doing. I'm worried about my own survival. I've got to get my resources up. And now, I've actually built up a little bit around the edges, and now I can start going in to attack uh, shield two and three islands. I think a lot of people think, if you can't just attack three shields straight away, or two sh or four shields straight away, well, then something's wrong with the game, but it's not. That's that's part of the challenge. Work with what you've got, and then when you start a new game, you might get a different spawn of islands. You might be you might have some different toys to play with on that one. So apologies for the long tip, but yeah, work with what you have, and it can be quite fun. And if you need to, don't be afraid to retreat. Don't be afraid to think I can't do this island. There's no point in me trying to take on these ships because I'm just going to get killed. I'm going to ruin all use all my resources. I'm going to think about this logically, and I'm going to go back to the edges and start taking things out that I can get to build my resources up. I've struggled on this last tip, and I've changed my mind three times now, so I'm just going to go with, if you're um, taking things off and you've got waves around you and you're in high seas, it's probably not a good idea to take things off. I was looking on the discussion boards earlier to get some ideas for this tips video, and I still see people like saying about waves and stuff, and that they're taking off and it's hitting a wave, and you know the game should it shouldn't be like that, but... You know, just use a little bit of common sense. If you're in an aircraft carrier in the middle of the ocean and this high in the, and these waves about, should you really be launching? No matter what's coming at you. So yeah, my final tip: don't launch if there's a lot of waves around. Just wait. Maybe even slow down. That might help. But yeah, use a little bit of common sense, and you should be all right. Thank you very much for watching this. If you've uh, watched it all, please like and subscribe it. If it's helped you, please put that in the comments. If you've got any other tips for people, please put that in the comments. If you've got any feedback for me about the videos, please put them in the comments as well. I'm trying to reply to everyone right now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.